It is a quick brief presentation. Question and answer in point format. Bulban blood and iron policy. For the benefit of the viewers, the purpose of the video is narrated as follows. It is a video made for a selective group that would choose Indian history for an undergraduate course examination based on pre-new education policy 2020 at Punjab University in April-May 2024. The main content has a voiceover in English, however, some content has a voiceover in Hindi. The content is based on a model answer already provided to the group. The viewers can check the content at undergraduatehistory.blogspot.com slash 2024-02-bulban-model-answer.html. The active link is available in the description. It caters to the requirement of the selective group that belongs to a peculiar social and economic milieu. Here, the social and economic milieu is based on the opinion of the video creator and does not refer to research based on an established craft. The nature of the content is general. The topic is a political personality in 13th century Indian history. It is not as per the craft of history. A major disclaimer. The graphic shown to the left and part of the thumbnail is not an authentic portrait of Balban. It is a suggestive graphic. It is displayed to suggest a magnificent coat of Balban. It is an AI-generated graphic with the following prompts. The prompts were tunic of a royal Turk from Uzbekistan, a magnificent coat and 13th century. Blood and iron policy of Balban. We will watch the actual document with a voiceover in Hindi, followed by the gist of each suggested point with an English voiceover. बलबन पे जो जवाब तैयार किया गया है उसको चार सेक्शंस में बांटा गया है पहला है बलबन फिर बलबन एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ नसीरुद्दीन तीसरा है बलबन एज ए सुल्तान लास्ट में बलबन ब्लड एंड आयरन पॉलिसी ये एक तरह का कंक्लूजन है Yasuddin Balban belonged to the Elberi tribe of Turks. During the tenure of Masud, Balban resisted the invasion of Mongols on the territory of Lahore. In 1246, during the reign of Nasiruddin Mahmud, Balban was appointed Prime Minister due to his remarkable wisdom and sharpness of mind. Policy of Balban as the Prime Minister of Nasiruddin Mahmud. Balban proved to be a very successful Prime Minister. The people of India had lost respect for the Turkish government after the death of Iltatmish because of disorder, injustice, uncertainty and confusion that prevailed. Balban's first major problem was restoring the people's faith in the state's administration. Balban adopted a firm policy as the Prime Minister of Sultan Nasiruddin Mahmud. Balban curtailed the revolt of Hindu and Rajput kings of Mebat, Malwa and Rajputana. Balban checked and curtailed the activities of the scheming Maliks and governors of the Sultanate. Balban successfully resisted the Mongol intrusion in the territory of the Delhi Sultanate. Balban suppression of Hindu reports as the Prime Minister of Nasiruddin. After the death of Iltatmish and the removal of Razia Sultana by orthodox religious groups with the support of the group of 40s, the succeeding sultans, namely Behram and Masood, could not maintain control over the state of the newly acquired territory in India. There were revolts of Hindu rulers of Mewat, Malwa and Rajputana against the government's policies. Balban, as a prime minister to Sultan Nasiruddin Mahmud and later as a sultan, suppressed those revolts with courage and a steel hand. Balban suppressed the revolts of Hindu Rajas of Ganga Jamuna Doa. Two, suppression of Mewati Hindu rulers as the Prime Minister of Nasiruddin. The Hindu rulers of the Mewat region in the south of Delhi, from Ghagar to Yamna, had resisted the rule of the Turkish regime. The people of the region fought against the control of Muslim rulers in Delhi and were not ready to accept them. 
the directive of the Delhi Sultanate was openly challenged and disrupted law and order in the area. Hindu Rajas of the Dwab, the territory between Yamuna and Ganga, were defeated. Gwalior, Mandu, Chanderi and Malwa were reconquered. In 1259, Balban led the strong military and within 20 days, he could crush 12,000 Mewati Hindu leaders. He also acquired 21 lakh tankas from the vanquished Hindu Sardars in this expedition. Three, suppression of scheming Muslim officers as the Prime Minister of Nasiruddin. The 40 Sardars, popular as Chalia, changed the monarch as per their whims. When Balban became the Prime Minister of Nasiruddin, the Chalia tried to turn Sultan Nasiruddin against Balban and Balban was removed as the Prime Minister. Sultan Nasiruddin Mahmud laid faith in the abilities of Balban and reappointed him. After Balban was reinstated, he subdued the activities of the Chalia by different mayors. During his tenure as Sultan, Balban ended the influence of the Chalia in the regime. Four, countered the rebellious governor as the Prime Minister of Nasiruddin. In 1255, the governor of Awadh, Kudlu Khan, and the governor of Sindh, Kishlu Khan, joined and revolted against the center at Delhi. Balban suppressed their revolt with an iron fist. Check the Mongols' regular intrusions. After Chinggis Khan returned from the borders of India, Mongol intruders later continued to revisit Punjab to reloot the area. To check these intrusions and revolts, Balban built new forts, repaired the older ones, and deputed strong and committed officers to defend the area. He was very successful in checking the intrusion of Mongols in Punjab. Balban as a Sultan. Now onwards, many points are a repetition. However, they contain extra details. It forms an answer to Balban as a Sultan. Add the opening sentence on Balban and answer a question on Balban as a Sultan. 1. Policy towards Mewat, Malwa and Muslim governors, conspirators. Balban became the Sultan in 1266. Sultan Balban ensured that the Hindus of Mewat region, Hindu rulers of Katiar, later known as Rohilkhand, Rajput of Guwahati, Danthambor, and Chanderi, remained subdued. Similarly, he did not allow any Muslim noble to organize any conspiracy against the center. 2. Successful Mongol Policy in the case of Mongols, he reinforced his fort management along the Punjab borders. Balban was fortunate to find among his cousins and relatives who were devoted and effective generals. Sher Khan and Malik Mubarak were commissioned to defend the northwest frontier. After adopting such strict measures by 1279, when the Mongols returned, Bugra Khan from Samana and Malik Mubarak from Delhi reinforced their forces on the northwest frontier and helped Prince Mohammed defeat the Mongols. Three, the Bengal Revolt Bengal province had always remained an intricate problem for the Delhi Sultanate because of the great distance. Balban was among the first Muslim rulers who found a way to control Bengal from a distance. However, the governor of Bengal stopped the payment of the annual tribute after a lapse of time, leaving that the Sultan had become old and because of the distance, Bengal could afford to defy the dictates of Delhi. Balban sent his governor Amir Khan to chastise Tugril Beg of Bengal, but Tugril Beg defeated Amir Khan. Finally, Balban led an army and killed Tugril Khan. Balban adopted the policy of cruelty against the supporters and acquaintances of Tugril Khan in the bazaar of Lucknow to spread a message among the people of Bengal to desist from any attempt at revolt in future. Balban deputed his son Bugra Khan as a subedar of Bengal. Bugra Khan was also terrified of the cruelty and never visited Delhi during the lifetime of Balban. Four, Balban administration and new imperial policy. Balban is remembered in history as an effective administrator. 
When Balban took over the reins of power, first as a prime minister of Nasiruddin Mamu and later as the Sultan, the Turkish rule suffered from confusion and disorder. People had lost faith in the government's credibility and did not respect the government's whip. Balban adopted a blood and iron policy to restore the dignity of the Delhi Sultanate's rule. Balban maintained a strong cavalry and infantry. The appointment to the post of commandant was based on merit only. For a an efficient spy system, Balban organized a very efficient spy system. The spies strictly watched the working of nobles, ministers, and governors. They were highly disciplined and professional people. For b dignified court. As a part of the blood and iron policy, Balban established a magnificent court wherein strict practices and protocols were made the order of the day. Balban knew that a magnificent court left an effective impression on the people who approached the Sultan and infused awe, fear, and mesmerizing influence in their hearts for the visitors and ministers. Therefore, Balban organized his court on the model of Persian courts. Balban established a highly decorative and magnificent court designed on the pattern of Persian courts. The court environment was very successful in leaving a sober impact on the minds of the visitors. Balban always attended his court in an impressive style. For C, the rule of justice was enforced. Balban was a stern ruler. No governor or relative dared to violate his orders and rules which he established. No relative or friend was allowed to take any privilege by going against the orders and regulations of Balban. For D. Dealing with Turkish nobles, Chalia. After the reign of Iltatamish, Turkish nobles gained much power and wealth. The Jagirs of old Amirs and Maliks were confiscated and allotted pension instead of Jagirs. Balban curtailed the power of the group of 40 by making stern rules. Five Balban's blood and iron policy. Balban's blood and iron policy was based on a strong army, a strict rule of law, and an efficient spy system. Balban even adopted the policy of cruelty against the rebellions. An elaborate court with stringent practices and an approach towards running the administration with non-emotional and display of control on the state working were the essence of his blood and iron policy. The lecture ends. Remember to check the complete answer on the blog. The URL of the blog containing the full answer is given in the description. Watch the video here and the transcript of the complete answer on the blog. It will help to consolidate your hold over the answer. Please comment on the transcript and the video and subscribe to the channel for more such presentations.